Hey guys, we're in the middle of our Kickstarter campaign and it's time to get serious. Get your name on the Rockstar Wall of Fame. We've got a whole wall in the school, blank, ready for your names. Get involved. Hi guys, Jeremy here from School of Rock Covent Garden. It's Wok Wednesdays and this week we're going vegan. It's a Kung Power crispy cauliflower. First off, just to speed up the cooking process a little, I'm going to blanch the cauliflower. I haven't got a full wok of water here. We can get a lid and the top ones will just steam through quite quickly. I mean, it doesn't take long, so the three to four minutes is fine. We're going to start to make a sort of crust for the roasting the cauliflower. I like a fair bit of panko on this crust, make it as crispy as possible. Corn flour is just to sort of help the panko stick a little, but I don't think it needs excessive amounts. So three heaped tablespoons of corn flour. Some heat, because we're going Kung Pao, so, you know, we're going to have a base sauce of chilli and garlic and, you know, chilli bean sauce and soy. So I'm going to put a good bit of cayenne pepper into that. When you're using things like breadcrumbs, you kind of almost have to over-season rather than under-season uh, to get the flavour that you want in there. So in fact, I'm going to go for one more teaspoon. That's three teaspoons. Uh, a good bit of salt. Again, because they're just going to sort of sift out into the breadcrumbs. And then about a tablespoon of light soy sauce, some sesame oil to season that, and a bit of water, not too much. And the water is just going to work with that corn flour and breadcrumb to help stick to the outside of the cauliflower. I don't want to overcook the cauliflower. Let's add about one to two minutes. Give another minute. And we're going to give this a stir through. And actually, if you've blanched it, it's fine to use hot. So now, I'm just going to sort of mix that sort of crumb. Try and get some of that crumb actually sort of stuck to the pieces of cauliflower if you can. If you feel like you need a bit more panko, then just go for it. And then the excess crumb we can use to garnish the dish at the end. Straight into the oven, 220 degrees C, 15, 20 minutes or until that panko is crisped up nicely. So whilst the cauliflower is roasting away or baking away, you can set up my wok clock for my sauce. And I'm gonna actually make a sauce that I pour over that crispy cauliflower. So I've got some spring onion at 12 o'clock with my ginger and garlic so I can sear that nicely into the oil. Similar amounts of ginger and garlic. Then I've got some soaked whole red chilies. Just soak in hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just loosens them up a little. I've got some crushed Sichuan peppercorns here. It is a Kung Pao after all, so we want to get that spice and that sort of citrusy, tingling feeling into this. And it'll work well with that cayenne pepper in the actual cauliflower. We're going to make up the sauce. I like my Kung Pao relatively hot, so I've got a, just over a teaspoon of chilli bean sauce. So it's got a base of savoury flavour there. About a tablespoon and a half of light soy sauce. Similar amounts of Shaoxing rice wine. And vinegar and sugar. I don't want this to be sweet and sour as such, but I'm going to use a small amount of vinegar and the same amount of sugar to get a base of sweet sour. And you probably won't even notice. Now, all you really need to add to that is either a little bit of vegetable stock or some water. I've got some water nearby that I'm just going to sort of pour 
into the sauce as it's cooking. And what you may find, you might need a little bit of corn flour paste or we can use some of that breadcrumb to sort of thicken the sauce a little. So my wok clock is ready. I'm gonna get my sauce going. Just a little swirl of oil. And spring onions. Ginger and garlic in. And we're just sort of flavouring the oil at this point. Forming the base of this Kung Pao sauce. High heat, just keep moving it around. Get ready to get your chilies and your Sichuan peppercorns in. And get a quick sear on them and then immediately your sauce. Now I want that sear of sauce before I add any water. My water goes in. I've got a fair bit of uh, cauliflower there, so I'm going to sort of just add sort of two to three ladles of water into this and bring that to a boil. I've already put a little bit of that breadcrumb mix into the sauce but I've taken a bit more out from the tray and I'm going to thicken this using this breadcrumb mix but just a bit at a time so let's go a spoon at a time you can just kind of see how quickly that breadcrumb mix works on it because my sauce is almost there if you feel like you want to take it a little bit further then you've got your water nearby so you can just keep adding it will intensify the flavour whilst it's boiling up anyway. So because my cauliflower is sort of getting crunchy in the oven, I'm just gonna leave it at that and sort of warm that sauce through when my cauliflower's ready. Simple as that. All right, so after about 15 minutes, we've got this great sort of crisped cauliflower. And so you can sort of toss this into the sauce, but I don't want to lose the crispiness of the cauliflower and that breadcrumb. Then my sauce just needs a quick warm up. And this is sometimes the difference between sort of making a veggie, almost crispy stir fry dish versus a meat one because you don't want to ruin the crispiness and that sort of bite of the vegetable. That sauce straight over the top there. And that is making me salivate already. It might just be the chilies making me weep. Right, so look at that. That's a beautiful dish. Crispy Kung Pao cauliflower with panko breadcrumbs. Time to dig in. Mmm. Great crunch, still got a bite. A true Chinese way to cook vegetables. Don't overcook them. Seems like the whole world's going vegan right now, apart from me, but this sort of dish can convert me. If you like this recipe, if you want to learn more, subscribe to our channel. Power. <laughs> you could just totally blag it and say it. <laughs> Let's see if anyone catches it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>